progress is being made with a big announcement today, but some say more needs to be done. And we have team coverage following a big announcement from city leaders as Kansas City enters day six of protests. We begin with 41 Action reporter Andres Gutierrez. Kevin, at this time last night, Mayor Quinton Lucas was leaking federal funding to get body cameras for officers. But then today, Kansas City's philanthropic community came through. Today, I left a community member's house in which he has secured funding for millions of dollars to get our body cameras. It's money the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department couldn't secure for several years until now. See, although body cameras have existed, in the last three, I believe, cycles of budget requests, that it be a stated uh, and foremost priority for this department. Which came to a head almost a week ago as protests and civil unrest broke out in the wake of George Floyd's death. We want body cams. The only reason, the only reason why we have a nationwide revolt is because of that eight or nine minute, minute video where the cops are literally murdering another human being. KCPD began exploring the idea of body cameras in spring of 2015, assigning a task force to examine how they could deploy the equipment. They believe that uh, believe it would, would benefit the community and result in better behavior by the officers and citizens. They thought it would provide excellent evidence and prosecutions. The following year, the department did a 90 day trial using 30 cameras as they tackled the issue of privacy and storage. Then almost two years later, KCPD announced they would be seeking bids to purchase 1,000 body cameras. Since then, those efforts hampered because of funding. But now with money on the way, police chief Rick Smith believes deploying them will be seamless. We have the platform in place when we upgraded our in-car camera system. That was one of the things we did is to have the platform. Leaders believe the tiny devices are a big step in addressing accountability within the metro's largest police department. When we talk about de-escalation, it's not just about de-escalating a protest. It's about de-escalating every experience and interaction that so many of our communities, particularly our black brothers and sisters, are terrified of each day. And now here's a breakdown of the money. One million dollars is coming from the DeBruce Foundation. The organization worked with other businesses and individuals to raise another one point five million dollars. They are now working with the Police Foundation to make sure that the cameras are purchased soon. Reporting live on the plaza tonight, Anders Gutierrez, 41 Action News.